Oh, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say the Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, traveler, to our camp. But I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. Beware, foul demons and beasts. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the part of the video where we show you how to install the Reign of Terror mod on your computer. But before we go any further, I'd like to give a shout out to the people at the ROT Discord server, the developers, and the mods. They interact with their community a ton. Always helpful and friendly. Be sure to go check out that wonderful community. The link in the description. Alright, first off, we're going to need a copy of Grim Dawn as well as the DLCs, Ashes of Malmoth, and Forgotten Gods. You can purchase these at Steam or GOG and other various key distributors on the internet. You can pick where you want to get your copies from. But once we get the game and the DLCs installed on our computer, we're going to head on over and click the 7-zip link in the description. And we're going to download the second link here, 7-zip for 64-bit Windows. And once that gets done downloading, we're just going to run this application and install it on the computer. That's going to help us get some of these files unzipped once we get them on the computer. So first of all, let's go to the 6.1.5 standalone link that's in the description. And that's going to take you to a Google Drive link. And this is the Reign of Terror mod right here. You're just going to right click on that and download it. It's about nine and a half gigs or so, so it may take a couple minutes for it to complete. So I'll pause the video here and catch up with you once it's downloaded. All right, guys, we got our download done. We're gonna go into our downloads folder here, and you can see the Reign of Terror .6.1.5 standalone RAR file. So basically, we are going to create a new folder on our desktop here, and we're gonna name it Mods. Just take this file and cut and paste in here. And we're just gonna go into the mods folder and we are just simply gonna go here, 7-zip, extract here. And that'll take just a second. All right, once that's done, we can take this zip file and we can get rid of it. Next up, guys, we're gonna go back. We'll get back to this folder in a minute, but we're gonna go to our 6.2.1 patch link in the description. And that's gonna take us to a little bit of a different looking drive folder. And this is where a lot of my friends got confused. If you simply click on this, it's gonna show you the contents of the folder. What you wanna do is hit this download button in the top right corner. You'll get to this screen, download anyways. And that should get done pretty quick. OK, 
Okay, once that download's done, once again, we're gonna go back to our downloads folder. And we have the Reign of Terror 6.2.17 zip. So we'll just cut that. And we'll go in the mods folder and we're gonna create another new folder inside and put that inside the new folder. Reason why is when this unzips, it's gonna be named Reign of Terror just like this one. It'll be a duplicate file, so I just do it like this personally. Once again, 7-zip extract here. You can get rid of your zip file now. Go into this Reign of Terror folder and just highlight all these, cut them, go into this Reign of Terror where your original standalone is and just click on a blank space on the screen and just paste them in. It'll ask you if you want to replace the files, say yes. You're just patching some files and you're done here. So back out, you can delete your new folder. And now we're going to find our Grim Dawn folder on our computer. So it might be on your C drive, your D drive, your E drive, wherever you have Grim Dawn installed, it's going to be uh, program files, Steam, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then Grim Dawn. So right here, we're looking at the actual file system of Grim Dawn here. Now, if you got the definitive edition and you have the Crucible, you're going to have a folder in here that's called mods already. Um, if you have the mods folder here already, you're just going to take this Reign of Terror folder and you're going to move it into the mods folder. So it would, you would see Crucible and then Reign of Terror in the mods folder. But if you don't have the Crucible, you just got the game and the two DLCs, this is how it's going to look right here. And you're simply going to take this mods folder and just copy it into Grim Dawn. All right, and that's it. So now your mod's set up. So now we'll move on to how to get into the mod game and a couple things that you may want to do before you start playing it. All right, guys, so we got the game installed and we got the mod installed. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to disable cloud saving in Steam and in the game. The reason why we're going to do this is later on, as you add more mods into the game, you're going to find that some of the mods uh, don't have a good compatibility with the cloud saving and you might lose some information. So it's really easy before you start playing to switch it over. So to do that, we're going to go into Steam. We're going to find Grim Dawn in your library. Right click on it. Properties. Updates. Make sure that this box is not checked. Enable cloud, uh, excuse me, enable Steam cloud synchronization. We'll also have to do that from inside the game as well. So we're going to launch the game. And once we get in the game, we're going to hit options under the gameplay tab right here. Cloud saving. Make sure that box is unchecked. Hit OK. And then you'll have to close the game for those uh, changes to apply. And from now on, your games will be saved here. Documents, My Games, Grim Dawn, Save. And your saves for the regular game and the mod will be split up here. Guys, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to switch between the main game and the mod. So right here, you're in the menu. And you're going to go here. Right here under the start bar, this is where you switch between main campaign and custom game. You'll have to highlight Reign of Terror world map. If it doesn't show up like this, Reign of Terror slash world map, if for some reason it says map 0001, that means your file system is incorrect. So you might have to go back through the video and double check that. But you just hit custom game and accept. You will have different characters for the main game and for the mod. They are not interchangeable. And right here where it says single player, this is where you can switch between playing a single player, 
joining someone else's game or hosting a game that other people can join. All right. I also recommend that you always switch the difficulty to check veteran. That'll make the game a little bit more challenging. All right. And that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoy.